In this question, we're asked to find all the values of theta in the range of, of 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 360 degrees, satisfying 7 cosec squared minus 4 cot squared equals 16 plus 5 cosec. Okay, so looking at this question, we have a quadratic in cosec and cot. And so we want to rearrange this and use a trigonometric identity somehow to get a substitution that will make it a quadratic all in one term. The key to this question is the first order term cosec, because there's no substitution really for cosec. I mean, I can substitute it for 1 over sine, but it doesn't help. What I want to do is I want to get this quadratic all in terms of cosec. So, in that case, what I need to do is I need to use the identity that cot squared theta plus 1 equals cosec squared theta. And so if I rearrange this to get a substitution for the cot squared theta, we get that cot squared theta equals cosec squared theta minus 1. So now I'm going to substitute that into, a, into the quadratic. Remember to show the substitution, don't just expand it straight away because there's a method mark for correctly demonstrating your substitution. So we get cosec squared theta minus 1 equals 16 plus 5 cosec theta. So now I'm going to expand and simplify. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to bring over the terms on the right-hand side to the left-hand side because I can see that we're going to get the quadratic term on the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides and I'm going to subtract 5 cosec theta from both sides. So now we get 7 cosec squared theta minus 4 cosec squared theta. Minus 4 times minus 1 will give me plus 4 and then minus the 16 that I've subtracted from both sides and minus the 5 cosec theta that I've subtracted from both sides and this is now equal to 0. So all that's left to do at this point is actually tidy up our quadratic so that I get 3 cosec squared theta minus 5 cosec theta minus 12 equals 0. And so at this point, we now have a quadratic that we can factorise. Looking at this quadratic, I want factors of 3 times minus 12. So factors of minus 36 that will have a difference of 9. So if I had minus 9 times plus 4, then that will have a difference of minus 5. And so we can work with that, those two terms. So I'm going to split the middle term now. So we get 3 cosec squared theta minus 9 cosec theta plus 4 cosec theta minus 12 equals 0. I'm going to factor the leading pair of terms. So there's a common factor of 3 cosec theta there, which leaves me inside the bracket cosec theta minus 3. And then I'm going to factorise the last two terms and you can see there's a common factor of 4 there, so I'm going to take 4 out, which leaves me with also cosec theta minus 3. Now, what I can do is I can take the cosec theta minus 3 out as a common factor. And the second bracket will be formed by the coefficients of those two brackets, so 3 cosec theta plus 4 equal to 0. So initially, what we get left with then is that cosec theta equals 3. If I take the reciprocals, cosec theta, remember, is 1 over sine. So actually, this is going to lead me to sine theta equals 1 third. And so taking inverse sine of both sides, I get that theta is going to be equal to 19.5 degrees. 
And then if I want a second solution, I'm going to subtract this from 180 because it's sine. So 180 minus 19.5, which gives me 160.5 degrees. So there I have my principal solution and then my paired solution. I want to consider, can I get any more values in range 0 to 360? Well, I'm to, I'd have to add 360 to either these values or subtract it, and that's clearly going to take it outside the range. So that first solution, I've got all the possible solutions associated to it. If we now work with the second bracket, so I get cosec theta, rearranging that by subtracting 4 and dividing by 3, I get is equal to minus 4 thirds. Take the reciprocal of each side, so the cosec theta, remember, is 1 over sine, so if I get sine theta, that's actually going to be equal to minus 3 quarters. And if I take the inverse sine of both sides, what I get in this case is that theta is equal to minus 48.6 degrees. So this is my principal solution. To find my paired solution, I'm going to do 180 subtract that value, so I get 180 minus minus 48.6, which gives me 228.6 degrees. And I just want to check now, can I get any further solutions from my principal solution and my paired solution? Uh, so looking at this, if I add 360 to the minus 48.6, I will in fact get another solution. So minus 48.6 plus 360 degrees will give me 311.4 degrees. Now if I add or subtract anything to the 228, it's going to fall outside the range. So now I have my complete set of solutions. So all that remains is just actually to explicitly say what is the final solutions that we get. So starting with a smaller solution, 19.5 degrees. Next is 160.5 degrees. Next is 228.6 degrees. And finally, it's 311.4 degrees. And I'm just going to state that I've rounded them all to one decimal place. OK, let's have a look at part B. Part B says, without carrying out any calculations, explain why there are no values of phi in the range Naught less than or equal to phi, less than or equal to 90 degrees, which satisfy the equation 4 sec phi plus 3 sec phi is equal to 6. So let's start first of all by considering 4 sec phi. This is equal to 4 over cos phi. Now if we consider cos phi between the range of 0 and 90 degrees, so this is cos of phi, this is what the graph looks like between 0 and 90 degrees, what we can see there is that cos phi is always less than or equal to 1. This means that 1 over cos phi is always going to be 1 divided by something less than or equal to 1 is always going to be greater than or equal to 1. And so therefore, 4 sec phi is always going to be greater than or equal to 5 times 1 over cos the phi, 4 times it, sorry, which is 4. If we consider this using 3 cosec phi now, so 3 cosec phi is equal to 4 over sine phi. Again, if we consider the graph of sine between 0 and 90 degrees, what we get is this graph, so that's 90 and it's 1. So very similar to cos, actually, sine phi is always less than or equal to 1 in the range 0 to 90 degrees. Therefore, 1 over sine phi must also be greater than or equal to 1 in the range 0 to 90 degrees. And so finally, 3 cosec phi must be equal to 3 times 1 over sine theta, so this is always going to be greater than or equal to 3. As a result, therefore, 4 
uh, for sec phi, not for cosec phi, sorry, for sec phi plus 3 cosec phi must be greater than or equal to 7. So for, in other words, 4 sec phi plus 3 cosec phi is not equal to 6 at any point. Okay, so let's have a look at how the marks were awarded in this question. First, looking at part A. First of all, there is a method mark for demonstrating the correct substitution into the quadratic for cot squared theta. Next, there is a method mark for some correct attempt at factorising or solving the quadratic in some kind of way. There is then an answer mark for getting to the values that sine theta equals a third and sine theta equals minus three quarters. At this point then there is a standalone mark if you got both the values 19.5 degrees and 160.5 degrees. There is then a standalone mark for each of the values 228.6 and 311.4 that were obtained. Please note that any additional routes outside the range, so really the mark should be given for this final step here. Any solutions outside of that, these additional ones will result in deducted marks. Let's have a look at how the award mark was awarded in part B. Part B is given for identifying that 4 sec phi would be greater than 4, 3 cosec phi would be equal to 3, and so that this would be greater than the whole sum would be greater than or equal to 7. Okay, well I hope those solutions made sense and that you were able to follow how to mark them.